Hello and welcome to yoga. Um, we'll be doing a chair flow today um, and we'll be exploring the concept of letting go. So this is something that I've heard in yoga classes since I started practicing yoga. Um, just the thought of simply letting go might sound daunting as it has for me many times, but uh, we'll play around with the idea that this concept of letting go is a practice just like anything else you might practice. So um, it's kind of exploring that idea of when things start to get really overwhelming or things are very overwhelming, um, taking little moments to let things set aside and return to a little bit of time for yourself. And that's really what I see yoga practice as, is a time for you to reflect, to um, acknowledge what you're feeling, acknowledge what comes up for you in your practice. So um, we'll start just sitting upright as we usually do. Um, and you can have something under your feet here if you'd like. I have a little bolster under my feet today. Um, just to elevate the feet up a little bit and bring the knees a little more in alignment with the hips. Um, totally optional, but know that that is um, a nice thing to have. I'll encourage you to take your shoes and socks off if you haven't already. Um, if you like to have your shoes on, know that that's fine as well. So uh, welcome everybody. With every practice that I teach, please know that everything that I'm offering is optional. If there's something that you don't want to do or is not feeling right for you in the moment, please just take a break from it. Um, maybe see what's going on and always know that you can do something else. Um, if there's something that you prefer, some movement that you really like, you can fill in that time with that this practice is for you. Um, so just a little reminder there. Let's sit up tall and notice the sitting bones, those pointy parts of your pelvis, just rooting down into your chair. It's getting a little heavier in the hips and pelvis. I just move my hands onto my hips because I find that to be grounding, a grounding action or gesture. <clears throat> Starting to feel that length along your back here. Let your shoulders gently start to soften down the back. And just take a slow breath in and a slow breath out. But we'll take a few more rounds of that slow breathing. And I acknowledge that breath is different for everybody. So maybe your breath doesn't feel slow right now and that's okay. Just noticing the movement of your breath in and out of your body. As you sit here breathing, your inhale might bring a little extra length into your back and your exhale can soften the shoulders a bit more. Feel free to close your eyes here or just find a steady gaze out in front of you, just looking at something and allowing that gaze to be soft. So whatever you're looking at, maybe just imagining that thing softening around the edges, which may even soften your eyes a bit. Welcoming that softening to your jawline, a place that I personally hold a lot of tension, just releasing there. Notice 
notice your feet touching whatever surface that they're on. You might even look at them for a moment if your eyes are open and just kind of press your feet down. Maybe roll the feet out to the sides and then roll the feet in, kind of feeling into your feet. <clears throat> And just in the next few moments, just drop your head down, just letting your chin release down towards the chest. And let's bring the hands to the back of the neck. So we're just going to feel the space along the back of the neck and notice your spine there. So the vertebrae, the bones that make up the top part of your spine. And you can just take your fingers and just give yourself a little massage there. So you can take little circles with your fingers. You can put a little pressure, maybe even kind of like you're kneading dough a little bit, pressing one side and then the other. You can adjust the pressure to suit what feels right for you. We're just kind of releasing that part of the body here. So nothing too intense, just a little massage. You could even run the fingers up along the sides of the spine, the side, the side of the vertebrae there, and back down. As you're massaging this part of your body, you may notice places that feel a little more tense or tight or maybe even tender. Maybe give those areas a little more attention. And not that you need to locate it, but noticing the space that is at the top of the top vertebrae and the base of the skull. There's a joint there that connects those two parts of your body called the AO joint, atlanto-occipital joint. And there's no test on knowing that or anything. It's just a place we're going to focus on today in practice. Maybe giving that area some attention here with the hands, a little massage. Continue to breathe a little slower. You can release your hands, let the head drop heavy, and just roll the head side to side. So a little rock and roll side to side here. Shoulder goes to one, or ear goes to one shoulder, back through the middle, and then over to the other shoulder. It's taking a couple more breaths here, a gentle movement of the head through the middle and over to the side. If you come across a place again that feels tight or tender, feel free to hang out there for a couple more breaths. Just holding that spot. We'll all eventually just meet with the head back through the center, chin to chest, and then just lift the head back up to neutral here. See if you can lengthen the ears away from the shoulders, the tops of the shoulders, and just take a big breath in, lengthen the spine. Exhale, keep that length and soften your shoulders down the back. Good, let's just bring my hands onto the shoulders here and take some circles. Circling out the elbows, almost like you're swimming the arms or elbows here. And these circles can be as small or as big as you'd like. So we're looking for kind of pain-free range of motion here. So no need to stress yourself out with moving the shoulders in a particular way. We're just feeling into that space. <laughs> When you're ready, just moving in the other direction. Circles, big 
or small. You might even play around with alternating, just kind of moving in a different way. Continuing to notice your breathing here. Notice what kind of sensations come up in your shoulders. Let's just meet back in the middle and soften the hands to the tops of the legs or to the sides of your body. Take a big breath in and a full breath out. Stretch your arms out into a T. And just imagine you're holding onto doorknobs here in both of your hands and just start to twist the doorknobs in one direction and then the other. Just kind of feeling into the wrists here. You might again play around with that sort of opposite direction of hands. And it might move all the way up into your shoulders. So you can start dipping the shoulders back and forward here. Just kind of moving in your own way here. Just warming up the shoulders, the wrists. Breathing. <clears throat> Good. All right, let's bring my hands down. Maybe shake it out a little bit. My arms started to get a little tired, lifted like that. So just kind of noticing if you felt that too. Just here for a big breath in and a full breath out. Gently start to fold forward over your legs. And you can fold any amount here. Hands on the tops of the legs can be helpful for kind of easing the fold, not going super deep into it. If you wanna go farther in, you can just start to bring your hands down to your prop or the ground. And then just drop the chin down towards your chest. So feeling that same kind of release in the back of the neck, chin to chest, breathing here. <clears throat> On your next inhale, come up halfway. So we're just kind of looking forward, bringing some core connection here. Lifting your chest forward, maybe even hugging the elbows in a little bit like a little cobra pose in the back. And go ahead and fold forward, just releasing into your fold. <clears throat> Inhale brings you to lift halfway. And exhale, release into your fold. Let's do that a couple more times, really noticing the movement of your head, lifting, looking forward. And then your exhale just releases you in, dropping chin to chest. Two more here, just moving at your pace, lift halfway. Exhale, folding in. One more, inhale. And exhale, just dropping into your fold. Take a couple breaths here. And again, you might just be folded a little bit here with your hands on the tops of the legs, and that is totally fine. Just acknowledging what kind of sensation you're feeling here. What do you feel in your back? If anything, just acknowledging. And where are you feeling sensation? The upper back, the mid back, the low back. All right, let's slowly come out of the fold. Just lift up, take a nice big breath in and a full breath out. Sometimes when we're folded, it can, can, it can restrict the breath. So just kind of acknowledging that for you and adjusting, maybe just not folding as far if it feels like it's restricting your breath in any way. So we'll do one more of these forward fold variations. So folding any amount, you might choose to just stay in this variation that we've been working with, or you can bring your hands to the back of your head, kind of right by that area that we talked about at the beginning of class, the AO joint above the top vertebra and um, below the uh, base of the skull. As 
as we're here, let's lift halfway like you're pressing the back of your head into your hands and opening your elbows wide, lengthen. And then exhale to fold and release. Your elbows could even drop here. Don't pull the head, just let the hands be heavy. And lift halfway, press the back of the head into your hands, open your elbows wide. We're strengthening the core a bit here. And just drop back in. Release the head, dropping chin to chest. And one more of those, just lift and press the back of the head into your hands. Broaden through the collarbones and the chest, maybe even lift a little bit more. And then go ahead and release down into your fold. You can release your hands and really let your head drop here. So no matter the depth that you're folding, just release your head. Let it be heavy, imagining a release in that joint at the back of the neck. So just feeling into the sensation of the shape now. Where do you feel sensation? The middle of the back, upper back, lower back, maybe the whole back. And what's it like? What's the sensation like? When you're ready, just start to come out of your fold. Just lift your chest up, neutralize here, maybe soften somewhere, letting go. <coughs> <clears throat> I've got a little frog in my throat. Hopefully it'll go away by the end of the class, but just taking a moment to soften. Maybe a big breath in and a full breath out. Good. All right, let's do a little twist here. So just twisting over to one side. You can bring your hand to your chair and other hands to the opposite knee. And just look behind you, looking over the shoulder. Taking a couple breaths here, just feeling the belly scoop in, your feet press down. And we're just breathing. Storm's rolling in here, so it might get a little bit louder, but I'll keep teaching. <laughs> Take one more inhale here and just release through the center. Slowly just twist to the other side, just looking over the other shoulder, opposite hand to opposite knee, lengthen and lift. You can use your breath here to help guide you maybe a little deeper into the twist. And let's just come back through the center. Just back through the center here. Nice big breath in. And a full breath out. You can set your prop that your feet are on off to the side or keep your feet on. I'm going to just remove mine so I can walk my feet out wide and scooch a little bit closer to the edge of the chair. So we're just going to do a little bit of a kind of, a, I like to call it the grocery cart. So um, you can imagine just stretching your arm up, reaching for something on the top aisle at the grocery, and then just putting it into your cart. So this is just kind of like a reach and lengthen, and then just putting it down. A reach and putting it down. We'll just take that a couple more times. You might match your breath here. Inhale to reach and exhale to drop it down. Feel free to add a little variation of where you're reaching. So maybe reaching for something on the across the way, across your cart, dropping it in, finding that length through the sides of your body, maybe even lower, down low, reaching and putting them back in. Just be mindful of how your body feels in these different shapes. So it's normal for things to feel a little bit tight, a little bit weird. Just be mindful of that. Inhaling 
Then exhale. See if you can explore some place that you haven't reached yet, or maybe somewhere that felt really good to reach. Okay, let's go back to the center, just meeting back in the middle. If you want to keep doing that, please feel free to do so. That's totally fine. Again, that option thing, you can always choose something different than what I'm offering. If I say to move on, know that you don't have to. Um, so we'll come to an, another little um, kind of fun uh, mind connection, uh, crossing over the body movement. And we'll just start by bringing the hands up next to the shoulders, palms face forward. And then just lift your knee up into your hands and then put your knee back down. So your hand will come down a little bit to meet your knee, but this is more about bringing the knee up to meet the hands, and then placing it back down. So just continue with that breathing. So it's a little bit of a core connector, connecting to the center of the body. And if you'd like, you can start to cross over. So just bring opposite hands to opposite knee. Opposite hand to opposite knee here. And breathing. Good. All right, so just come back through the middle whenever you're ready. Let the hands come down. You can rest the hands on the legs or I'll invite you to bring the hands to your heart center. Let's just pause in stillness for a couple of rounds of breath. And I'll invite you to add a little mantra, simple mantra, while you breathe in, repeating let, breathing out, go. Inhale, let, exhale, go. Feel free to continue that for a few more rounds, just repeating in your own mind that simple mantra with the breath. You can release your hands back down to your sides. Just softening again, sitting up tall. Just take a big breath in. A full breath out. So let's stretch the arms up and overhead and then fold forward over the legs. So this should look familiar if you've been doing the classes on the Passion Works YouTube. We'll do a little sun salutation. So lift halfway, keeping awareness of your neck here. Exhale to fold, let your chin drop towards the chest. Your inhale brings you all the way up. So we're just doing that half sun salutation here. Exhale, hands down to your sides. Or you can bring your hands to heart center. Let's just do two more like that. Inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale to fold forward. Inhale, find some length. Exhale to release. Your inhale brings you all the way back up. Just stretch the arms up. Last one. Sweeping the arms up as you inhale. Exhale, folding. Inhale, brings you up halfway. Exhale, releasing down. And inhale, rise on up. 
Let's pause here. Big breath in. A full breath out. So this idea of letting go might be just as simple as letting go of a thought pattern you've been having that isn't really serving you, isn't really benefiting you in a good way. Happens to me frequently, just this regular thought patterns that come up and maybe prevent you or I experience preventing me from doing what I'm most wanting to do or what I feel aligned with. So just acknowledging maybe something like that or maybe taking it to another level that you've been thinking about. We'll settle in for a Nice stormy Shavasana started to rain here pretty hard. The wind is blowing and let's just come into a nice still position and just listen. You can close your eyes if you'd like. You can lay down on the ground if you'd like. Maybe lean back in your chair. And I'll be quiet here for the next minute or so. Feel free to welcome that simple mantra of let go back into your practice, into your breath. know that as I'm quiet for this time, I'm still here with you, and I'll let you know when it's time to wake back up and move on. Please know that you can stay in your final resting shape for as long as you would like. Um, if you're ready to start moving, feel free to do that. Moving in any way that helps you wake up, maybe taking a full stretch. And we'll just meet again in a nice upright position. And feel free to bring your hands to your heart center here. Just finding this nice connection here in the midline, little lift of your chest towards your thumbs. A gentle bow of the head down in honor of this practice and its tradition. Thank you for joining for this yoga practice. Namaste. Thank you so much and hope to see you soon.